Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a very late Mac Merlin stream. Normally, I don't stream on Mondays, but today is a special case simply because the Windex keyboard, which I'm building tonight, is starting group by really, really soon. If you guys don't know about the Windex, this is a, how should I describe it? A 65% with a numpad on the right. But some of the biggest features of this board is perhaps the fact that they have removable stabs. The plate itself has this pretty large cutout, which you can modify your stabs really easily. You can remove, you can install them super easily and stuff. And this is also a gasket mounted keyboard. This is the group by that's starting, it says November 10th, Beijing time. So I assume that's November 9th if you're here in the United States. Yeah, look. Um, if you guys caught my unboxing stream a couple days ago, you know that I got this one. This, I'd even wager it's this exact unit. I did say I was going to build this with a carbon fiber plate. So that's exactly what I did. This is probably the only keyboard that I know of that you can build half the board. Um, this one's built with carbon fiber plate, Gateron KS9s. And I did include the PE foam, but not the plate foam. I find that plate foam tends to stiffen up the typing feel. So when I already have a stiff plate, like carbon fiber, I feel like there's no need to do it. These Gateron KS9s are apparently a little large. So it was really difficult to put them in the carbon fiber plate. Um, at first I thought, oh no, manufacturing issues. What if the carbon fiber plate is bad? But no, no, no. Um, you can fit other Gaterons just fine. It seems to only be like the bigger switches like these guys and and uh, JW case. So if you join in on this group by be be advised that carbon fiber is super tight. Instead of KS9s, I'm gonna go with KS3s. These guys seem to fit just fine. Here, let me show a demonstration. <laughs> yeah, these guys should pop in really easily. There we go. Popped in really easily. As compared to the KS9, KS9s are so much more difficult. And you know, of course, just as I said that, these guys are hard, hard to push out. <laughs> oh, there we go. That, that wasn't too hard. There we go. Let's pull out a KS9 just to show you guys. And a Alpaca. And a... Gateron Ink. You know, just to, just, just to show you guys. <laughs> yeah, that that's not going in. So yeah, imagine if I had decided to stick with what I did with this across the entire board. That's going to be one hell of a painful build. Okay, yeah, that's not going to go in unless I put in additional force. So let's go with alpacas. This one I have not tested at all. Or alpacas. Alpaca. Popped in just like that. Super easy. Okay, how about um how about black inks? Popped in just like that as well. Okay, what other random switches do I have scattered around? Here, let's try a cherry switch. Got a random cherry MX blue here. Cherry MX blue. Will cherry switches fit? Yeah, in fact, I feel like the cherry is the loosest out of all of them. Let's see, I will need to cut a little bit of this. Right there. Whoa, my lights are flickering again. As far as I know, the, the storm should be all done, so I'm kind of surprised that we still have flickering lights. Pigu says, I see, I heard you went to Taiwan as a kid. Is that true? Just curious. Um, I was born and raised in Taipei, Taiwan. So in many ways, I, you know, I identify more with Taiwanese culture than I do than Filipino culture, but I am here in the United States now. So, you know, Guess they call me a third culture kid of sorts. <laughs> it's 
So what languages do I speak? I, I, I speak English, Tagalog, and Mandarin. There we go. Got all the PE foam in there. So, as I said earlier, I will not be putting any of the plate foam in just because I'm already using a, a stiffer plate. And by experience, um, I know that that's not a good feeling for me. I usually only put plate foam when it's like a plastic plate. Like palm, PC, all that stuff. Yeah, at my at, at my peak fluency, I was able to talk politics with people when I was in Taiwan. <laughs> I was able to talk politics about the policies of whatever party, um, blah blah blah, his history, all that stuff. That that was my peak fluency. That and um, of course, I could I could comment on the latest chapter of One Piece and Naruto. <laughs> peak fluency there, but that was many, many years ago. I can def definitely still understand, I just probably can't engage in that same, same, um, conversation. Teacher Cat's Mandarin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now some people teach their cats or, or their pets different languages. Hey, uh, Pigu says, I think I can still read that. Yang something, ni de ko ing. Yeah, my, my reading is also shot. So have you tried another board with carbon fiber plate? I have one for my Iki, but haven't used it yet. Um, I don't have a carbon fiber plated gasket board, which is why I was very curious or very interested in doing this using, using carbon fiber. And plus, you know, Palm is so readily available. Like I like Palm as well, but you know, carbon fiber, carbon fiber is just really different. How many people can say they that they have a carbon fiber plate? Not very many, I bet. There we go. Okay. So at least put put a couple of these on. So I am getting some jelly build vibes with this. And by jelly build by vibes, I mean I'm having a difficult time aligning the PE foam. <laughs> Unlike the Mr. Suit, with the Mr. Suit, the, the foam just lined up so perfectly well. Oh, so, I guess every board has a different build experience. And even though it's the same components, don't expect it to be the same all the way around. See, I'm not a fan of clack and stiff, so alu and carbon fiber isn't for me. Yeah, I've I've actually found that on isolation gasket mount boards, such as what the Wind X is, um, I prefer stiffer plates. But on like a top mount, I prefer softer plates. For a tray mount, I like both directions. I I prefer like extreme rigidity such as stainless steel and brass or something really flexible like a thin palm, thin polycarbonate, you know? I guess I am in a, in a fortunate state where because I do have many boards, I can really ascertain what I like. All right, I got most of them soldered. Let's see, just make sure I didn't miss any. Such as that one on top. 
<laughs> there we go. You think your connection is going to heck? No, it's me, actually. I have lost 2.7% of my frames. Oh, crap. It's going down again. I think it's because of all of the flickering lights. Something's going on. Maybe the winds have picked up. But yeah, once this gets uploaded on YouTube, it'll be fine because I'm recording this. All right, I'm down to the last few switches. Let me just check, check something really quick. I'm going to have to pull out the keycap set just to try it out. So yeah, what keycap sets did I use today? Yeah, I thought about using Serica, but it's not the right shade of yellow. In fact, when you don't have the correct shade of yellow, it looks a little off. All right. Put this here for now. The Merlin's lost all his credibility in the Keep community with this major ooh. Thank you for believing that I had any credibility. Clean up the PCB really quick before we move on. Let me turn off my little fume extractor as well. Merlin done drank up all the water. What well, water? I'm not drinking water tonight. I think I did a pretty good job with managing this heat. I don't see too much, too much extra, extra stuff. GMK honey. Oh yes, GMK honey would look excellent. Okay, so I did say I was going to put all the foams in. Maybe a Windex Artisan. I'd be down for that. Mm, okay, that's gonna be difficult to pull out.
There we go. There we go. Okay. It's in. Everything look aligned. Yep, everything looks aligned. And you know what? Merlin does seem to look pretty good on that. PH, ah, okay. Awesome. PH for Philippines. Watching the stream while working in the office. Nice. I'm I'm glad that Twitch isn't blocked in your office. Alright. There it is. I feel like I still need to compact it a bit more. I tightened some screws here. Actually drinking a milk tea with no boba. Nice. Spread out. Let's spread it out. Let's go put the rest of the keycap on. As mentioned earlier, I am sacrificing the keycaps on my Jelly Epic. <laughs> so yeah, uh, fortunately I don't think the yellow on this quite matches, but close enough. Close enough, I'll like it anyway. over there. Let's make it a... There it is. Actually, no, let's go with the regular stuff. I'm gonna go with Numlock. Got it. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Here we go.
Okay, um, hold on, let me look at something here. It's one thing I'm noticing while I'm typing. Ah, oh, weird, okay. So it says that it's got an angle of seven degrees, but that doesn't feel like it's seven degrees. It feels like it's, uh, it feels like it's steeper for some odd reason. Huh. Okay, hold on, let me look at something really quick. Yeah, that's really weird. Just feels weird, weird on my wrist. Abdul says, Merlin, what switch orientation are the enter and plus signs? I, they were, I think they were facing east, I think. Yeah, east, east facing switches. Guys, look, this board almost spans the entire width of my current view here. Here, let me pull out my Mr. Suit. Mr. Suit, for reference, is shorter. <laughs> oh, that is loud. Loud as hell. Ah. Keychron Q1, for, for reference. Like, if I could improve this board, if I could improve this board, I really like what they did here. Like this, this looks great to me actually. In fact, I would love to see a 65 that looks like this. I wish that they would have put the numpad on the left here. Now that's a board that I would readily pay money for. Yeah, so quick take on the board is that like what many people have reported already, this is a fairly decent typing and decent sounding board. For $289, this is a great deal. Um, some of my issues with the board though is number one, um, the carbon fiber plate, which is one of its options, tends to favor smaller switches. The KS9s that I put on my numpad took me a long time to squeeze in versus the KS3s, which fit in just nicely. Um, other switches that fit in nicely were alpacas and regular cherries. Accent piece looks terrible. I would have preferred that they didn't have one there or have indicator LEDs. Um, another thing I noticed, especially during this build, um, this is supposed to be an, an E coating. And I noticed that while screwing in all of the screws right here, the, the eight screws used to hold the board together, um, I, I encountered lots of resistance. It almost felt like that the screw was grinding on the coating. See, I know Suri was concerned about the plate bending and stuff. That's that's still a a very real issue, especially if you go for carbon fiber. Because if you put a switch in that's way too tight, you will definitely bend it. The last thing was this. This does not feel like seven degrees. It feels it feels a lot steeper. I'll I'll go end this with one last typing sounds.
So I wish all of you guys a good start to your week wherever you are. And I will see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone.